Earl? Have you been in my lean seat? No. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I only used a little bit. What's going on, folks? Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for keeping it here. I do appreciate it, and I thank you for it. And the new subscribers, thank you guys. And thank you oldest for staying here and the patrons and the, you know the run now. Okay, I've been over on Facebook again today. Been reading in the uh, those Facebook groups over there. And uh, they're into it about oiling your fretboard. Now I'm getting ready to clean this old Martin up. And I'm going out, the frets is done finally. I'm getting ready to oil the board right now. And I thought I'd make a video about this. Because a lot of those guys watch this channel. I know they do. But some of them must be new but have not seen my older videos. Because I always say to oil the fretboard. They say, uh, well, you know, if I do oil it, am I supposed to oil it? If I do supposed to, what kind of oil do I use? And they tell them all kinds of crap, man. They're telling them to put on their fretboards. Food oil. You never want to put food oil, any kind of any kind of oil from food, you do not want on your fretboard. It'll rot, man, over time. And you sweating on it and stuff, it'll rot. Uh, it'll stink. <laughs> I'd say it would. I never did do it. Uh, they, they make a lot of things to use on your fretboard. Uh, I'm talking about these open grain fretboards like rosewood. Uh, some of them is uh, like maple and they have some guitars and they're finished over. You know what I mean? Some of them is ebony. The ones with finish over them, you don't ever have to oil those. The oil's not going to get to the wood because of the finish over. You know, a lot of electric guitars is finished over the, the fretboard. You don't have to oil those. Just uh, polish them when you polish your guitar. I'm getting ready to polish this guitar too tonight. By the way, the next video that you see on this guitar after this one, you're going to get to hear it because I'm going to tune it up, string it up, set it up, and I'll try to play it. I have not played guitar in months. I have no calluses whatsoever on my fingers. All right, back to the oil. You can go to Martin's uh, YouTube channel right here on YouTube. Martin has a YouTube channel. You can go there, and I forget what you got to search for, but they have a video. This is Martin now, mind you. They have a video up telling you that you should oil your fretboard once or twice every year. They recommend using 3-in-1 oil on it. Now, you know, I, that kind of flipped me out when I seen that. I thought, man, 3-in-1 oil's got a lot of uses, but I didn't know you could oil your fretboard. I don't know if I would use that or not. But Martin says it's okay, so I use linseed oil. Right now, I've got a bottle of boiled linseed oil. People will argue, argue you till they are blue in the face. It's got to be boiled, or it's got to be unboiled, or it's got to be mixed. It's like uh, wax potting pickups. I'll tell you, you got to use uh, so much percent of beeswax and so much percent of uh, pure wax and mix that. You know, you're just making it hard on yourself, man, doing that shit. You don't have to do all that. It doesn't matter if it's boiled or unboiled. Linseed, for this purpose here, Boiled or unboiled linseed will work the very same. It when you rub it on, I'm gonna show you here in a minute. I'm getting ready to do this guitar. When you rub it on there, well, I'll just get you. I say I'm gonna get you and uh, bring you over here and just uh, we'll talk about it as we go along along the way. <laughs> Hold on. All right, here is the then seed oral. Look at the uh, threads on that. See how it's all coagulated and stuff. Can you see that? Okay. When you rub that stuff on your fretboard, it coagulates like that and seals. Now you want to rub it off. You know, you don't want to put it on there and let it dry. But you leave a coating of it on there and it seals. I think I got you where you can kind of see. I don't want to spill that shit, man. Combustible stuff. You want to get all the way up to the frets. I recommend rubbing it across the grain, across the grain because it you're forcing it down into the grain by doing that. If I rub it long ways with the grain, it's just gonna you're gonna rub it right out, you know what I mean? I might keep you here for all of this, but I want to show you. You just rub it on like so. Leave it about four minutes. Anywhere from three to four minutes is what I always say. And rub it off. 
and your fretboard will look brand new. It'll be protected. What you rub off and what you leave actually on there, that very thin coating will protect your fretboard for a long time to come. It'll hold the oils in. It'll hold the humidity moisture content in. Rosewood's an oily wood anyways. And you got no protection at all, man, on it. I don't know if I'm still on the camera or oh, shit. No, I'm not. Well, you got the idea. Get up to every fret. I see a couple there I could get closer to. Get up to every fret. Both sides of every fret. Look at it good. Get it under the light where you can see. And make sure you get right up to every fret. It's not going to make your inlays pop out. They're arguing about that over there, too. You know, it would, probably, if you did it too much. Let me get the lid on this shit, because I don't want to spill that. It spontaneously combusts if you leave a bunch of rags laying around with that stuff. They say it does. I've never tried it. Now, all I'm going to do here, I'm going to wait uh, three to five minutes from right now. I'm watching the clock over there. And uh, three to five minutes, probably about four minutes to five, I'll take a clean paper towel and just very lightly rub it away and what's left on there will protect that board it'll soak in as much as it can that's what it's doing right now and it'll soak in and it'll protect that that open grain wood there's nothing on that wood to protect it you know and this guitar still needs some humidification this dried out uh says 56 percent humidity in here right now but uh, we'll see so hold on I'll bring you back and start to wipe it away. We'll talk about it more. Hold on. All right. Welcome back, folks. It's been four and one half minutes now. Right now. So, i got a clean paper towel here. And I'm just going to start rubbing across the grain. You can see it's not dry yet. Like I say, you want to rub across the grain doing this. Because you want the... Uh, we want to go right down in, into the grain. Am I in the camera? Yeah, a little bit, I think. You know, if I rubbed it along with the grain, I would rub more of it out than I would be leaving any in there. You get up close to the frets. Boy, these new frets look good, man. Good. Well, they're not new. They're dressed. They look like new. You never want to use any kind of food oil on your guitar for this. Never. For no reason whatsoever. Anybody tells you to use some kind of food oil, any, any kind of oil that comes from food, don't do it. Some people use this wax. I've got some of that here too, several different kinds of wax. Some people just like to put a thin coat of wax on there. You know, pretty much anything that won't hurt the guitar or rot in the grain will protect it. I wouldn't put just anything on. I know they sell all kinds of they sell all kinds of uh, products that you can put on your guitar. I don't know if I'm in the camera yet. I think just barely. They sell all kinds of products that you can put on your guitar for this to protect your board. See it's coming off of it. But and I used to buy that crap. But the first time I used linseed years and years and years ago and seen how it solidified and worked and protected that wood. There's a big crack in this fretboard right here. I showed it to you all before. That's because it's probably never been uh, treated like this. Make sure you get all the way up to every fret, both sides of it. I've missed several of them here. Now we just let that dry. And like I showed you on that bottle, it'll solidify and it'll form a coating over that. No oils can get out. The humidity that's in there can't get out. You can't get more in right now, but it doesn't need, shouldn't need much more or any more really. The body needs some more uh, moisture content, humidification or whatever. It's really dried out. I'm going to clean the whole body up, get all this dirt out of here. Uh, stick a sweeper down in there, sweep it a little bit. And uh, like I say, next time you see this guitar... We're going to string this puppy up and set it up and see what it sounds like, man. I checked the uh, saddle back here. You can't see that. I matched it. Well, it already matched. I just wanted to make sure it matched with the radius 
of the fretboard and it did. Oh, I hear trouble coming. Cue ball has made the scene, so watch out. Earl's made the scene too, so watch out. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Oil your fretboards. I don't care who tells you not to. There's channels on here that tell you not to. I know they are. People that doesn't believe in doing that. But, you know, I would trust what Martin says over what they say, you know. I don't know if I'd use 3-in-1 oil. I guess if I didn't have linseed oil, I would. But I've used linseed for so long, and I've used boiled and unboiled, and it didn't make any difference. It never mattered on this on this uh, appliance. <laughs> so, uh, I'd say don't use any kind of oil that comes from any kind of food. They're, they're arguing about that over on Facebook. I forget what kind of guy said to use, and I thought, my God, no, don't put that on your guitar, man. It'll rot. <laughs> But they do sell products. I don't know how, how good they are or how bad they are because I never use them. I use uh, linseed oil on everything, all my fretboards. So you gotta you got to take into consideration, that's open grain wood right there. There's nothing between the atmosphere and it. Well, linseed solidifies and it puts uh, like a boundary between the fret, the bare wood and the atmosphere. And it'll last about six months depending on how much you play it. Don't put oil on your board more than twice a year no more than that and it should be okay then see the oil that's where it's at all right i'm getting ready to polish this guitar one of you asked me a long time ago if i would do a video on polishing guitars well yeah i will but it's not going to be on this video because <laughs> uh i might get kind of lengthy i don't know i just don't want to add it in this and mix it with this oil video but yeah, yeah let me know whoever he was uh, if you're still here or still alive, it's been a good while ago, I think. I always make notes, keep notes on everything. I was looking through them today and I saw that. And I thought, God, I forgot about that guy. So if you're still around and you want a video on, uh, you know, polishing your guitar and caring for it, what you should or should not do, what you should use or not, or buffing. Uh, well, I don't have a buffer right now. Mine puked. But uh, let me know if you want that video and I'll make it for you and, uh, Sorry, I forgot about it, man. Whoever you are, it was in one of my older videos. Anyways, cheers. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Check it out, man. I mean, you know, it's going to look like a 100-year-old guitar, because that's what it is, but it cleaned up really nice. Look at the back. Check that out. Shined up pretty good to be that old. Look at those frets, man. Yeah, I can't get them there. You're glistering in the light. Look at the fretboard, how much nicer it looks. Stay tuned. Next time you see this guitar, I won't say on the next video because I might make a video on something else between now and then. But the next time, the next video on this guitar, we're going to hear this puppy sing. Stay tuned. I'll see you. Hope to see you there. Cheers. Been in my linseed. Only used a little bit.